I don't dream so big. <laughs> uh, I want to go to Nian Poly because I want to join the um, NRA, which is like sort of like a school dance CCA, and it's kind of prestigious. And one of my like some of the teachers I look up to are teaching there. So. I do want to dance in the future, maybe just as a dancer, I don't mind, but um, I would want to be a dance instructor in the future. Insecurities. Well, the first insecurity I have is that I don't know if I have the potential to be a dance instructor. And to be a dance instructor, you have to build up your reputation like from the bottom. So I feel that I'm still at the bottom. Yeah, so, but I have a few years to build it up, but I don't know if I can do it in that period of time. And the second insecurity is that I don't know if I want to, if I do work as a dancer in the future, I don't know if it can like sustain, sustain a living off of that salary because dancers don't really get paid that much in Singapore. Well, it's the passion for dance. Like, even though it might not have a high salary, but it's what I love to do. Like, my body feels at ease when it's moving. So I really want to continue dancing until I grow older. I advise that if they really love to dance, they should they should really be diligent and train themselves because there are other people out there who are really good and if you want to be like them, you really need the hard work and the passion for it.